Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival Alpha 12. And here we are. I'm starting this video inside of my base simply because if I go outside, I'll just show you how cold it is out here at the moment because it is night. See, minus 24 degrees. And there's no way even my portable heat protection is going to help me with that. And I want to start with a big thank you for your comments and feedback, especially Rando Gamer, who quite rightly pointed out that I needed a food processor. And he also made the point that I do need to get some food production up and running simply because the, the food supply on this planet is so short. In fact, most resources are pretty short. And I think getting some form of basic food production is going to be quite important. But to that end, I was thinking about it, is I've got to go and find the Talon. And I can't remember, actually. Let me just check. I can't remember whether I've got any... I haven't got any credit cards or anything like that. So we're going to have to try We may have to do the Talon mission to get a couple of plants up and running. I think that's the Talon mission does that. Also, Scathson pointed out the problem with respect to starvation if you get cold. And I think a lot of people don't realise this in this game, but if you get very cold, what happens is your stamina drops. And if your stamina drops, you consume a lot more food. So in fact, when, when you get very cold, the risk isn't so much hypothermia it's actually starvation. So it's something you do need to be aware of. And he also pointed out the benefits of hot beverages. And I've actually got a few here now. And so the, so a big thank you for those comments and feedback. Well, just to give you the update, I've now put in a food processor. I've also put in a large constructor over here. I've also put in a bed so we can sleep through to the morning. And probably more importantly, I've also put a toilet in. This is because if you eat mushrooms, you can give yourself a bad trip. And having a toilet is a way to get rid of that bad trip. Now, what I want to do in this part is get out and explore. We need to find resources because one thing I do want to do now is get myself an SV. And I've been looking through this and I think it comes down to, oops, that's a capital vessel, what am I on about? Is either going for silver shade light, but you can see I'm going to need 202 copper, some carbon substrate, some silicon ingots and some iron ingots as well and I don't really have that much in the way of resources here but I think I can give myself a little bit of a boost but it will be a bit of a risk the other option is the I think, I don't think it's the cargo dart I think it's the UCH where is it it's in here somewhere it, no, I think it's actually the Polaris Scout and this is a light fighter but it's got quite a lot of storage on it and I I think that might be the other option. Yeah. But I say we've got so I've got a choice of three, but there's no point worrying about those until I've got some actual resources going. I think I think the nightshade, uh, the silver shade light has the the biggest demand, and and this is where the risk is going to come into because what I'm going to do is. If I go to my constructor in, I've got some, I've got some computers um, and some electronics. Because you can see, I'm now virtually out of um, copper, but I do have some copper in my uh, portable constructor outside, and I've got some electronics. And what I'm gambling is, if I put those into workshop, what? How much will this give me? Wow, that was six ingots, 7.5. That was a bit of a waste. <laughs> Let me just get in here. If I got it out here, um, I don't think the protection is going to make much difference. See, I've got, I've got some copper ingots here. That's 65. Got a little bit of silicon and a little bit of iron. We'll just put that in there. So what I'm going to do is gamble putting some of this stuff up in here. I can also put some carbon substrate. But I, I think carbon substrate's the least of my problems because I can make that while I go out and about by chopping trees down. I thought, so what I'm going to do is commit my resources to putting it in here. And it was 72. As I say, I'm aware that it's a risk, but... I think it's a risk I've got to take. Let's just get back inside again. Now, the other thing I want to do is just, well, the other thing I want to show you is if I come into here, 
you'll see I've then made an assault rifle and a sniper rifle because I think if we're going to get near drones we're going to need the ability to take those down. I've also literally gone through and produced uh, some medication so I've got four antibiotic tablets, I've got anti-parasitic in injections, I'm not going to get caught by getting whacked by something like I did in the previous playthrough. I haven't got a cure for it and I've got some more antiparasitic there. But I don't have a wide range of stuff to do. Um, we've got some there. I am aware that it won't, if I'm going to go away looking for some time, this base could run out of fuel because I'm currently running on the, what we call it, the, make sure this is switched off, uh, biofuel. Let me just make sure everything is switched off to try and conserve some power. And what I'm going to do is we're going to come into here, we're going to go to the fridge and I'm going to take all this perishable stuff that's important with me. I'm going to leave some of the magic mushrooms behind because I don't need it and I think the eggs as well. So this stuff won't perish. I'm going to take that with me. So we're going to put that into the ship. My pinky little hover bike here. Back here. I'm not close enough in damage hover bike. Fridge, I'm just going to pop this into the fridge. Uh, I've got nothing else in the cargo box. It's a minus 19 out here as well. So, and I think what little resources I've got in here now. Uh, we're we'll certainly going to pick up the biofuel. Oops, that's going to overload me. I think the rest of that we'll just leave in here for the moment. And I just want to duck back inside again. Apologies for shooting backwards and forwards, but I can't really hang around outside. And I'm kind of half stalling at the moment, waiting for the the day to come. But the other thing I also want to do is if we come in here. I want to. Oh, I think it's is it starting the journey is the one I want to activate. This is the one that should allow me to search for the um the Heidelberg. So. Now this has got quite a long start, if I remember correctly, so we're just going to let that run. Now I'm not going to read all this, I think it's just introducing the mission, yep. You want to review them now, yes. I mean basically this is setting up the the mission uh, to go and find the Heidelberg, which has crashed to the planet. And, and we're working on a project, so I don't, I don't want to spend too long going through this. It's quite a long introduction, the event will take place and something like that. Interesting, must be something Dave added to my log. Terminus, uh, so we're just going to rattle through this. Um, hey, sender, shall I play it? A voice in the bathroom. Hey, so it's an anniversary. I mean, if you want to read this in detail, feel free just to work through the video slowly. Opening file. You can see it's quite a long, drawn out conversation load transport good luck Lo login private stuff so it's quite like the way it inserts the player's name into the conversation so it makes it more immersive sure getting something important let me quickly check the status day processing request stop opening door so, uh, late, later over at the titan I'm just gonna be pushing through this uh, require the complete installation. That's where it all started. Um, well, we will get to the point where everything crashes, if I remember correctly. You will stay on the console. Okay, I clearly remember what followed. And then I'll restart the control core, Dave. Accessing contract, override priority. Hey, what is that? Override priority, chief. Overload systems, this is where we're gonna let's see, the ship starts to with if it was only if it was only energy signatures. So what it would have hurt the old suit. The module quick restart. Condition comm system damaged. Control, we're up and low. Never understood how that could ever happen. What's wrong here? I can see through the window something that the ship's now under attack. Calm down, help is on the way. I mean, I'm the security chief. 
Was I the security chief? Oh, interesting. Uh, isolation fragments not possible. Alien code fragments. Now we're down to T minus 15. Weapons fire. Alternative route. Biological noises. Weapon fire. Access module M1 destroyed. We're about to lose the station to intruders. So we're under attack. Um, and up. Uh, hang on. Uh, but it's a fast ship. Station is about to explode. Um, this is getting better and better. Something Titan failed. I'm uploading data package to your suit. Please handle. Commander. Thanks, Dave. After only a few minutes' time, sigh. We will get there. More questions than answers. Thanks, IDE. And we're going to get that little countdown again. It says, Commander, I've tracked the UASH fleet signal sent to a nearby station. Now, I'm pretty sure that nearby station is the this thing here, the teleporter station. So that's where we're going to go first. I'm just going to get into the Tropmobile. Trot a little bit low on fuel, but... Question is, is the yeah? I think we need to go this way. We're just going to go off. Because on our travels, we're going to keep an eye out for any food or anything. So we're just going to go. So we've got to keep the food situation going. Let's toss that over there. That looks like a um, plant protein. Um, jump out. This is the teleporter station over there. We also need basic resources like that silicon or rock I can't see. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's silicon. We're gonna have to try and collect as much on this surface rocks now as possible. Because all the resources are going to be protected by a drone, so if we can grab individual, well, that was up high up, well, up high up in the sky. So I'm just going to keep an eye out for anything that I can turn into, which I can into resources, which I can get me the SV. That there, that's iron. So this is going to be very much a scavenger hunt. Of course, we take the magic mushrooms or mushrooms. Uh, we can now give us XP. Anything else here? I'll have to get that guy as well, but uh, And he's 1200 XP and of course more importantly he gives me fire moss scrapings which help me give me the medication so taking down these alien assassins is quite a useful thing to do <laughs> well ow. Okay, let's put the uh, of course we got no uh, what we call it on here and just use this to uh, think uh, another energy bar at the moment would be quite useful. What's this natural stimulant? Now it gives us level six. Yeah. Source signal is not here, it's emitting from another position nearby. This could be the first clue of what's happening to us, IDA. Okay, let's 
counting down while well, it's counting down were let's look around here or it could be a trap we'll find out i think okay. uh, one more tool is that uh, Is the uh, what we call it around here? Uh. Let's just get into here. Let's follow the signal. I was just getting here just to see what's going on. Um, wait, I'll get in here. Make it quick. We're minus 30 at the moment. Wow, wow. And it's just. Identification failed. Thank you. He's entered valid yeah, wait. Now it's back here. Did the game give me an oh, so we've actually got the location of the Heidelberg. Right, that's where I want to go. Two point eight six kilometers away. But we are going to be go there quite slowly looking for any resources we can get on the way over food rocks anything work let's have a look at here all right because we better follow the lake round i don't really want to waste time going across the center of the lake so we're gonna to have to go south I can see it. Well, if we get to the edge of the lake, we can follow the lake round. Because I do want to pick up as much in the way of resources as we go. So uh, that looks like silicon. Grab that. Uh, survival tool. Back in. Bridge, we got that there. And what we'll do is just let this build up. When it gets to a certain amount, we'll start turning it into in ingots. Uh, a big hole there. I don't really want to go down the bottom of that. What's that there? I think that's just a rock. Gonna need rocks anyway. A few of them. So that we can make carbon substrate. And of course what we might need is a tree occasional tree as well to make some oh look at that. So, thank you. Wait. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Uh, certainly want the food. Need to go further south. I don't really want to go down in all those depths, dips, and hollows. This thing. I'd rather stay on the higher level. That sounds like there's another slime monster around here. I want to really. Oh, what we got here? What have we got here? Buds. There. Yeah. Buds are useful for making the. The um, bev hot beverages, as Scaflon said. I mean, they're quite neat. If you can find a patch like this, yeah, they are relatively easy to make. Right, let's just oh, get out of the way of that tree. Large record. Oh, I'm getting turned around again.
so right we're on a pretty flat area here it's good what we got there it's just another rock I right, will just keep pushing through here uh, a little bit of a dip there uh, oh. oops over <laughs> if you can get enough momentum you can um kind of sky over the top of the uh some of the big depressions i'm just gonna keep pushing down where are we so we're just following down through the edge of the water here uh, right uh just shoot over there whoops this thing is completely unstable uh, it's not a lot of resources on here in fact just to show you i was looking at this before i started we've only got two sources of promethium one of gold six of copper and um, one iron and four silicon so we definitely need to get an sv and get the ability to get up into space so that we can uh how can you say get resources from the planets um, that's it that. Um, got, uh, oops, let's just get into here. I think we'll make a bandage and another one of those. Um, put you in the bridge. Put you in a cargo box. I mean, we don't have a lot of space in the cargo box, so we will have to convert stuff as we go. Uh -oh. no, let's, that sounds very much like a an alien assassin around here so, oh no what we got here yeah it's an alien assassin well you want to chase me we'll get you out into the open and kill you wow there's quite a few of them around here I mean I don't really want to kill too many of them because I don't want to fill my ship up with things I think we're over water now aren't we okay let's go uh, okay let's just get over and out of the way that's the Heidelberg Heidelberg's over there I got right we're getting round the bottom of the uh, right since they've got resources that way but I can almost guarantee they're going to be defended by drones and I mean I could get in and try and take them out but it depends on what the resources are uh, I mean if it's Prometheum I'm prepared to take the risk I think we will go down that way and just take a quick look I think we're on the way we're going we go in the cell one of the problems with this start is the fact that because you where we get out of the sky is white most of the time uh, it can be quite a little bit tricky to see the radar so let's check these rocks these are just ordinary rocks. Uh, uh, wait. Press O to level off again. Yeah, it's got a rocket drone on it. Uh, I don't really want to mix it up with this ship. I know I can get in with the assault rifle, but it's a very precarious existence, particularly if you're on a cold planet like this, because I, don't, I mean, I've got no idea what the temperature is. Let's just have a check of the temperature. Yeah, look at that, minus 54. We can't really stand outside taking down a drone in minus 54. In fact, it's gonna, minus 54 is going to be a challenge no matter what we are. In fact, even getting out and putting that, deploying the portable constructor would be interesting here. Yeah? Ah, we found the Talon. That could be useful. We might be able to do the first part of the other mission, the Talon mission. Let's all do it, can't we? Uh, Tales of the Past. We've also got pest control back. So we might be able to get some standing there. So I've got a feeling this is one of the reasons why I packed up the base, because I had a feeling we're gonna we were gonna be gonna be away for quite some time. 
advantage is if we stay warm and don't do much, our food consumptions are pretty low. The, the problem starts is when you, you know, get hypothermia or anything like that. Hypothermia is absolutely devastating. I mean, it really knocks your stamina about down, and then that increases the your food consumption. Well, we found a ruined temple. Um, chapter 1, Human Remains. This planet has seen a lot of fights. Yours is the only of the latest in the series. Track down the UCH fleet signal idea picking up and you will possibly find the remains of your fellow co comrades. Okay. Commander, I've detected a UCH identification signal on nearby. It's one of the vessels of the... Op it's one of the vessels of Operation Phoenix fleet. It's a transport ship UCH Heidelberg. We should go and take a look. Yes, I intend to go and take a look. I don't think that we're going to get anything from that, are we? It's just I'm always a little bit leery about getting into trees. Right. This looks like it might actually. It's just like looks like this might actually be a bit more um, inviting, actually. Class. Uh, totally destroyed. I'm not sure if there's anything useful here. Of course, there is. There's cargo boxes in here. So one thing I didn't make was a core. It's annoying. Uh, let's just land here. Make sure everything is loaded. No mark. Possible target for your investigation. Well, it's only minus 31 here. <laughs> okay. Well, a couple of steel plates. Right, we've got a multi tool charge. I just need a multi tool now, please, game. I um, mean, that would be fantastic. I need to keep an eye on. We're in Talon territory, so we have to be a little bit careful. Um, I'm correct, there's loot boxes up here. Okay, I'll take that. Um, and got some more electronics. Got some food on the hoof here. Uh, right, we'll be okay. Right, so the EM signal 102 meters. How am I doing for temperature? Temperature's down to 17 degrees. Oh, that some more electronics. And uh, it's just doubt very much whether this is actually gonna this just put out the yeah. that only brings me back to zero. <laughs> okay, back in. Too cold. <sighs> That's going to warm up. Let's see what we can. Uh, I don't need to refine that, but what we can do is just knock out some of this. It'll warm up a bit back to 25. Just drop you into there. And actually. A little bit of stone. We didn't bring any logs with us, we need a tree. What we can do is we can do one silicon and two iron. Um, just leave you there for the moment. Um, just what we'll do is we'll just come up this end because this is the EM signals up here. Quite interesting look where the lake has come round and down into there. Ah, quite fascinating. Right. Okay. Oh, it's on the end of this. I'm just gonna 
inside and a capacitors, some stuff and a notepad. It seems it's part of the status report. Okay, let's just hit hard, kind of laser projectile, some advanced rocket. Okay. I chief pilot, one of the engineers has worked on. Yeah. Game. Right. I'm stood here in. I'm just going to get in the ship and read this. Otherwise, I'll probably die of hypothermia or something stupid like that. By the way, the idea, did you notice the whole wreckage seems to be weathered? Like it's been lying around here for quite some time. Okay. Uh, I'm already analysing the traces. The first results show the whole damage happened about 11 to 13 months ago. It is correct, Commander. Okay, while that's going, we'll just have a look round. If we can find any more cargo boxes. There's some inside. Chief Lutz, the theory is time dilation is the vicinity is an unstable warp field. Um, actually, let's go right round. I have to put some fuel in this ship. Yeah, actually, let's, let's cut some trees down. While that message is going. Um, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, fence mode. Let's consider it's not two, two, four, seven, three, or four. Okay, let's consider not two, four, seven, three, or two, seven, four. We should investigate the wreckage more closely. Yes, I intend to. Right, we got six logs. That'll do. Right, let's just. Oh, come on. Really? I wouldn't mind that meat. Um, let's just get back in. Yeah. Uh, I'll just jump out. Right, looks like he's trapped. So, shotgun. Sorry about this, but I need the meat. Oh, he's going away. Yeah. It's only one meat, one shotgun shell. Like that in there. Uh, we're going to need some more stone, I think, to get some like uh, carbon substrate, stone dust. Um, let's just make kick in ten of those. It's not going to eat that steak. Multi tool, please. Multi tool. Another one over here. That someone else left another note inside. Uh, I'm not going to read all that. Um, we've got two multi tool charges. Anything else here? No. Is that there? Is that one there? Yes. Radiation, thank you again. I don't think I've got any radiation medication. Uh, temperature 18 degrees, let's just jump straight back into the ship. Uh, it's going to warm up a bit. Oh, just... right, a little bit of steel plates, we've got some more. Uh, don't really need the capacitors, but I'll do in a moment. How we bring back to 25 degrees? I mean, we could probably get a nice pile of oxygen out of here. Um, 579. Well, we've got two oxygen. If 
we can find fuel tanks. Okay, we'll go over that way. Right, we've got an O2 station. And what we got here? Armor locker. to 19 degrees so we're gonna have to get back into the ship warm back up again 25 what have we got up there a, a pad taped on it it's like it's written with an academy comedy Academy secret code. Oh god, thank you game. The Heidelberg is lost and if you survive the crash, paint paint pal palant. It's already lost contact. Talon must see where so we need good luck with her. This is slowly painting a picture, a teleport home, but not no info where to find it. But where is the pile of rubble we can find the bridge and the console? And the console's down this way, so if we get back into actually here we're just going to park here um, right we have to we have to do this last time just open up a hole here right, here's the console just talk to this enter verification code AI routine summit 34 deactivate console. Okay, that was the easy point part. Where do we find the teleporter? Okay, you've got sorry, sorry, your lunch. Whoops. ship um, we're in the water luckily we didn't roll what are we doing here Let's get here right, we got 200 but you can go into here we'll make another steak four plates Two hundred carbon substrate. Likely. Um, yeah. Okay. That is the. It gives me the carbon substrate requirement. What we're going to do is just we're going to have to just pick up some steel plate around here. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a lot chore picking this stuff up, but okay, let's just... it's a hardened steel block. Pain in the neck, but it's a ventilator. Whoops, there's a fridge here. I will certainly take the pizza, that's probably the biggest boost of food I've had in the <laughs> since I've started this playthrough. Take the burgers. Um, food processor there. We'll take that. Um, 
wall grow plots, but I can't take them. I certainly would want those grow plots. Okay, inventory four. Ah! Right, we've got to get out of here. And I'm kind of trapped in the bottom of a. And I'm cold. Okay, I'm in trouble. I need to get out of here as quickly as possible. Hopefully, this will get me to the outside. Okay. Ah. Yes, I know I'm dropping plates, but yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, just get into warm up a bit while I'm at it. Where did I come out? Wait, let's stop rolling over. Um. What we got here? Bridge. Get this bridge. Uh, we're gonna have to. We're getting to the point now where I'm gonna have to start putting some of this stuff up. See, this is a problem with picking up those hardened steel blocks. It's the titanium plate. Uh, we can go there. These are all adding up as well. We don't. Yep. Okay, we're full up. Right. Uh, not there. We're gonna have to put some of this stuff up into. Uh, we'll just put them in. We can get loads of steel plates and the silicon. It takes it down to 227. It's not much. The motors could be useful. And we've got 15 electronics. And 24 of those. In fact, let's go down to four electronics. I think probably getting the ship is more capacitors. It's pretty heavy. And titanium plates. Okay, let's just. Let's see what we can get. Be the iron, the silicon. But the, the glass is pretty useful. Put the motors in. Gives me 80. Silicon. 84. And so. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. That's probably the polite way of saying it. Okay, we've got hail. <laughs> this game is throwing absolutely everything at me at the moment. It is quite interesting. I think what we're going to do is we can't really operate outside now. This hail is going to be a problem. I mean, if I can get in, will that protect me. So what we can salvage from inside. We work on the inside here. Because I don't really want to work on these. Take the armor locker out. Now we can actually, the armor locker could be useful sometime in the future. Um, I just want ordinary steel blocks. I know I normally love. Let's take out the ordinary steel block here. Just work inside. Take you out. Um, right, we've, we're back in here, but I've lost what I did. But take out the damaged steel blocks. Because uh, I don't want to end up mine. Okay, entry pool. Thank you, game. Often. Uh, da -da. I've got just way too much junk in my inventory at the moment. Right, it's actually stopped. So, um, put that in there. Could have put this in last time. Um, that can go there. I don't want to use the stake just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear this area up a bit so I can get the, the 
of a bike in and out a bit better. And I mean, it's all steel plates anyway, so this is what I'm after. Actually, I've just noticed the time, so I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. So what I will do is clear out this area here, do some of the grind work, and then in the next part we will continue exploring the Heidelberg and trying to get enough resources together to build an SV. I mean, we're getting there. We've got enough. You know, I mean, it's just going to take a lot. I think the copper is going to be the big copper and silicon are going to be the biggest issue. I was just drop those in. I mean, it's literally not moving that forward a bit. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.